Flags are still flying at half marks, whilst books of condolences are being opened at various offices to mourn the former president, Jerry John Rawlings, the man who ruled Ghana for nearly two decades. The Northern Regional Minister, Salif Saeed, was the first to sign the Book of Condolence, which was opened at the Regional Coordinating Council at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, November 17. The Supervising High Court Judge for the Northern Region, Justice Richard Mark Kujapo, signed next. The Northern Regional Police Commander, DCOP Bonga, and Brigadier General Moses Mohamed Ayye, General Officer Commanding for the Northern Sector of the Ghana Armed Forces, signed on behalf of their respective units. Minister Salif Saeed described the late president as one who stood differently from other African presidents who are fond of altering the laws to cling to power when their tenors are due. Indeed, he was really a true statesman. Uh, why am I saying this? For us in the North, we revered the former president very well in the sense that he was the first president as far as the fourth Republican Constitution of Ghana is concerned. And it was so surprising and refreshing that African leaders sometimes, when they are ending their tenure of office and given his background, somebody who is coming from the military background, he peacefully and willingly handed over to the new government when he ended his two tenure of offices. At the same time, he did not consciously even push the system at that time to even extend his stay to three terms. That was so revealing. The late president's deliberate infrastructure of investment in the north of Ghana and him much love from the people in the area. A particular mention of the main highway linking the south to Paga, as well as the extension of electricity to the north, and the donation of the $50,000 seed capital to set up the University for Development Studies are some of the gestures the people in the north fondly remember J.J. Rollins for. The bold decision he took to extend a Kosovo, that is electricity power, to the northern part of our country really touch the hearts of uh, our northern leaders at that time even to date and that is why he's highly revered in this part of the country so i want to stand in on behalf of uh, his excellency president nana Dudanko akufado as well as the northern regional coordinating council the northern regional security council members as well as the chiefs and people of northern region to express our uh, sympathies and sorrows and then also be part of the mourners and wish and pray for him to rest in perfect peace.